hello everyone through this video we are going to discuss from question number 12 in exercise 5.3 so here is question number 12 let us check what it says in question number 12 we are to uh, find out the sum of first 40 positive integers divisible by 6 so we have to try to find out a few numbers that could be listed as an AP and those numbers should be divisible by 6 so the positive integers are like this the first 40 positive integers divisible by 6 are first one is of course 6 second one is 12 then 18 then 24 like that it will go on up to just multiply 40 and 6 these two numbers if you multiply the last number of this series you are going to get and that is 240 so here first term a is equal to 6 common difference we get here uh, to be second term minus first term is equal to the result we get as uh, actually if we don't find out d then also it will be working here how because the last term we already have number of terms is also known to us but just we have to find out the sum so here in this case we do not put d instead the number of terms we are going to write as 40 then the last term i mean the nth term we are going to consider as 240 therefore the required sum therefore the required sum is equal to sn is equal to n by 2 within bracket a plus a n let us put the respective values now and check what we get in place of n we need to put 40 40 by 2 then value of a we are getting as 6 then a n we are getting as 240 then let's do cancellation this is 20 so 20 into 246 the result we get as 924920 and this is the required answer then let us come to question number 13 question number 13 is here this is question number 13 what it says find the sum of first 15 multiples of 8 find the sum of first 15 multiples of 8 so coming to the solution part this question is exactly similar to the previous question only i mean question number 12 so here the first 15 multiples of multiples of 8 are first multiple of 8 is 8 itself then after second one is 16 third one is 24 then uh, the fourth one is 32 in that way just multiply these two this will give you the last term of this series and that is 120 815 ja 120 so what do we get here we get we get first term a is equal to 8 common difference is not required because the last term we already have and then number of terms also is known to us n is equal to 15 there are 15 multiples already given in the question then the last term we consider here as the nth term that is 120 therefore required sum required sum sn is equal to we can use this formula a plus a n let's put the respective values here it will be 
in place of n we have to write 15 by 2 then in place of a it is 8 then a n comes as 120 so after this what would we get 15 by 2 into 128 let's do cancellation after cancellation it will be 64 then 15 for ja 60 6 left 960 this is the required result here this is the required answer next there comes question number 14 so this is question number 14 here let's see what it says find the sum of sum of odd numbers between 0 and 50 so this question is also similar to uh, question numbers 12 and 13 so the odd numbers we have to list here the odd numbers between 0 and 50 are what are these first odd number is 1 means the numbers which are not divisible by 2 so these are the numbers 1 3 5 7 that will go on up to 49 means uh, the odd number which just precede uh, 50 is 49 so here we have first term as a as 1 then common difference is required here because number of terms we do not have here how many terms are how many odd numbers are there that is not mentioned here that we have to get d as second term minus first term the result comes as 2 then let the nth term be 49 so first we have to evaluate what is how many number of terms are there means we need to find out what is the value of n so let's use uh, the general formula here value of a we have to use as 1 plus n minus 1 what is d here d comes as 2 that is equal to 49 then after what we will get uh, 1 plus twice n minus 2 is equal to 49 then after twice n minus 1 equals to 49 then twice n is equal to 49 plus 1 then n will become 50 by 2 so number of terms become 25 here so n is equal to 25 after this we need to find out what is sn therefore required sum is equal to sn so n by 2 here in this case we can write a plus a n so we have to for the respective values in place of n we can put 25 by 2 then a is what the first term we got here is 1 the last term is 49 after this 25 by 2 into 50 so after doing cancellation 25 25 ja result comes as 625 which is the required answer So this is the required answer. Now let's come to question number 15. So question number 15 says what? A contract a contract on construction job 
construction job specifies specifies a penalty a penalty for delay of completion delay of completion beyond a certain date beyond a certain date as follows as follows rupees 200 rupees 200 for the first day then after rupees 250 250 for the second day then after rupees 300 300 for the third day etc the penalty for each succeeding day the penalty for each succeeding day being rupees 50 more than rupees 50 more than the preceding day preceding day how much money how much money the contractor has to pay the contractor has to pay as penalty as penalty if he delays the work if he delays the work for 30 days so this is actually the problem sum on ap which we are doing so if we observe we get that rupees 200 for the first day this is the first term rupees 250 for the second day this is the second term rupees 300 for the third day this is the third term the penalty for each succeeding day being rupees 50 that means common difference is rupees 50 how much money the contractor has to pay as penalty if he delays the work for 30 days so number of days is 30 so we have to find out the sum of money he has to pay after the 38th day so let's write down here already we understood the question so in the solution part we shall be writing the penalty given penalty increases per day increases per day by rupees 50 by rupees 50 after that we need to write we have we have a is equal to rupees 200 then d is equal to of course rupees second term means 250 minus first term is equal to rupees 50 then number of days we have as 30 days so total sum of money we need to find out here therefore required sum of money is equal to sn so we get here n by 
we can put here the value twice a plus n minus 1 d then after in place of n we can put 30 by 2 then 2 into a is what 200 plus value of n is again 30 30 minus 1 d we got as 50 so after cancellation this is 15 so 15 this is 400 plus 29 into 50 so what would we get 15 here it is 400 plus 0 9 5 ja 45 4 left so we get here 15 into 1850 so after this 0 5 7 is left 28 12 left so this is sorry this should be actually 7 this should be 7 because 7 uh, 15 into 0 it is 0 15 5 just 75 7 left 15 into 8 it is 120 plus uh, 7 it is 127 12 left then 15 into 1 plus 12 27 so this is the total amount of money he has to pay and which is the required answer similarly question number 16 also can be done in the same way thank you